action going here between these two teams. Minnesota gets the tip. Cam Christie for Elijah Hawkins. Past 500 assists this season. 28 from 600 in his career. He has been a leader, a point guard for this team. Pharrell Payne, the big body, wider lanes in the NIT. Goes to work. Wow. Come and get some, he says, in the first play of the game. He's got such good footwork. I hope that he's okay. Look at how strong he takes that ball up to the basket. A hard fall. Well, now he's down. Looks like he's Here getting he back up. Here he comes. Strong to, the, to continue to move forward. Dawson got went in and got the offensive rebound. The range in this game, Myron, they're going to be shooting by near, near where we're sitting yeah. as this game goes on. There is some tremendous range on both of these teams. Jamil Telford with the Euro step. Your boy D-Wade would have appreciated that oh, yeah. move. Yeah, he didn't use the backboard, though. <laughs> D-Wade would have appreciated that even more. Minnesota starting Elijah Hawkins. Just hit a three from Cam. Chris a couple places before he came back home to Minnesota. And then Pharrell Payne, we saw him with the back injury. Hoping he's okay. That is your fifth starter. Looks like Jamil Telford is really deciding that he can go to work. Good to see Pharrell Payne back in the game. And he just says, trying to get this Minnesota team into a rhythm. Good pass to Pharrell Payne. Beautiful pass, and that's what Elijah Hawkins does. Seven and a half assists a game, uh, nine points. To make the point guard finish. That Mott has also taken on the same idea. He's trying to get to the rim with his big bodies as well. Yeah, and I think as this game goes, we'll see the transition. Both of these teams are good in transition. Good like pass that. ahead to DJ Davis. Potts Alexander for the bucket. Connect between these two teams. Two teams that are pretty selfless, Tom. I, I think so, absolutely. They get great movement. Both have ways to get to the ISO game. Nice drop off. Pharrell goes to work again. Tell your friends about me. That they're going to bring the intensity defensively and make the entry passes tough. And it's a, an adjustment for everybody having that wider lane. Kind of getting used to this new deal with the NIT. Beautiful move by Andre Screen. He put a little Jokic on. Shot that he can make a living on. That off the dribble, off balance, going left jump shot. Much better when he's balanced and squared up. Yeah, Thomas working inside, back out to Posh Alexander for the three. Maria Myron that he has improved immensely since his time at St. John's. Making over 37% of his three-pointers this season. Dawson Garcia says, anything you can do, I can do better. Just feeling it. That's exactly what you want. Close game. They'll feel it out. Nice defense. Minnesota Beautiful rotation pressure. down by Elijah Hawkins. Minnesota putting pressure again. That's the fourth turnover for Butler in this game. Cam Christie finds Christie. his stroke with that shot. Pierre Brooks working inside that big body. He can kind of get wherever he wants. Tough shot. Cam Christie on the other end of the floor to Elijah Hawkins, who drives to the rim with the beautiful layup. Andre Screen trying to post up. Another Butler turnover. Didn't see Elijah Hawkins behind him. Dawson Garcia to the rim. Another bucket for Minnesota, which takes the 17. You don't need a, a step back from the right wing with that much time on the clock. Another turnover by Butler. Minnesota really putting this defensive pressure on Butler. That six turnovers. Parker Fox. Tom. He is. I enjoyed talking to him today. I mean, he's wearing number 23, and he's 24 years of age. I love his driving ability. Out to the perimeter, Jamil Telford. Nice kick That's out. Him. Nice kick worked on today with the short roll and the kick out. That broke an 11-0 Minnesota run. Minnesota was really in control. That is a crucial three-pointer. Minnesota up 19-14, 9.39 to play. Parker Fox taking advantage of these wider lanes as well. Minnesota is recovering after the ball screen or the handoff. They're getting back into the paint, not allowing easy rolls. Billy Bizdak to the rim with the bucket. The all Big East freshman team. You can tell the pace is picking up for Butler right now. No, it really is. And Pharrell Payne is getting tired. He's working so hard. And Minnesota's just had three possessions that were not great shots and great looks. Now, this one looks like a good look. Great move. He's clearly going to get his opportunities to opportunities this game. He goes on if they keep doing that. Are they bringing a double? Are they coming off the... 
misses the three. Right now, if you're Minnesota, Myron, the best thing you can do is get the ball inside. They're taking too many challenge jump shots, playing right into Butler. Good pass. Good pass. Jalen Thompson. They are looking for these back doors. They really are, because they're, they're taking advantage. They're looking for the fact that Minnesota is overplaying the wings, which is the way to play basketball right now. Mel Telfor with a big bucket. Even in this building, people are coming up to you and shaking your hand after what you had to say about the NIT. And you know what? I talked to a bunch of players from both teams. They said the same thing. We want to be here, Tom. Absolutely. Look at that shot right there. Look at this crowd. See, at Butler. I've been looking forward to this. It's awesome in here. You want to take the opportunities that are in front of you to compete because eventually those opportunities are gone for coaches and players. Back-to-back -back threes for Minnesota. Both together, but someone put something out there about you during your time at Indiana. As Mike Mitchell commits the foul on DJ Davis, uh, that you said no to the NIT, which wasn't fair. Now, again, you go from number one in the country to the CBI, maybe, maybe that time. I remember talking to some guys who played in the tournament. Uh, it was, I get to play in front of grandma, in yeah. front of my uncles, in front of my cousins, my cousins, my nieces and nephews, who maybe haven't seen me play in a long time. I think people are taking for granted the opportunity to be in front of a national hey. audience and to continue to do what they love. People don't get the chance to do time. Absolutely, money's important, recruiting's important, everybody's got important jobs. But you're making memories when you get a chance to play this game. And these two teams, no matter what tonight, they'll have that memory. All that stuff about shot is so very important. Can you teach that body control, Tom, or is that a natural thing? As DJ Davis gets to the rim again, gonna go to the Oh, you can line. teach it. You have to. He's back. We talked about that Mata, Tom, to make that happen. He wouldn't tell us. No, he would look at the two game, two two man game here in the middle of the paint. Run out to a ball screen action that Bill Self really brought to college basketball when he was at Oral Roberts. Nice finish by Elijah Hawkins. What a veteran move. You know what? You know what that secret is? Really good free throw shooters. That I'm helps. sure. I'm sure there's some technique to things to him because Dad Mata was a great shooter himself. We well, said to call him after the season. He will tell us. Finley Bizjack to the rim. The All Big East. Freshman team member. This game is picked up. The court is opening a little bit. The movement is good. People are comfortable. Minnesota up 30 29, 317 to play. Butler five for their last five after that drought. But Dawson Garcia, Dawson Garcia. to 29. We have a ball game here, Tom. We do. We do. Minnesota's come down and they're getting out of a three out, two in type of offense, which is giving them that isolation in the middle of the floor. Will Telfort with another big shot. Hits the three. Been a game of runs. Minnesota had an 11-0 run. Now Butler has hit six of their last six shots. 32-32, 2 16 to play. DJ Davis to the rim. Again. Good action. Diagonal screen to get the ball in the post. Now they're doubling immediately. Got to swing it to the other side. Cam Christie rises up. This is the shot for Pharrell Payne with the rebound. Look at that. And the bucket Look, just muscles his way. Power, Myron. That is power. Muscles his way to the rim of the floor. It worked out good for Minnesota in that case, but they can't make a diet of that. Davis with the ball in his hands again. Jamil Telfort with another shot. Jamil Telfort is only a minute left. He's impacted the game since he's been back in. Beautiful look up the floor. Pharrell Payne with the missed shot on the other side. Posh Alexander. Goes up, draws the foul on Parker. The NCAA Three, men's best. Hits them both. Try to do that in this sequence. They're going to get a ball screen. Looks like they're going to set a single. Now here he comes. He can go off either way. Horns action. There's the roll. Beautiful oh, finish. Tell your friends about me, Pharrell Payne. Another turnover. Last second heave. Doesn't fall for Braden Carrington. Beautiful play. Now they brought up two screens. Looked like he was going to be able to go either way. They come up at the last second. There's the step back. They get confused. Oh, yeah. There's Pharrell Payne with a finish right there. Two men on the ball. They never really impacted the ball. Wide open for Pharrell Payne at the lane. Butler strikes first. Well, Pierre Brooks has not been able to get going. That was a good call by Thad Mata to try to get him started in the second half. Just a bit of a miss. 
Elijah Hawkins. Elijah Hawkins. The floater that falls. Coming off the screen, Cam Christie back to Dawson Garcia. Thought about the three. Puts it up. It's a tough shot. That's a good finish. Dawson Garcia made the drive. He was looking for some outlet. DJ Davis coming off the screen from Andre's screen here. Sorry, Jalen Thomas. Back to DJ Davis. There's that range, Byron. There's Big that three. range. <laughs> Big three. This year. He definitely showed it there. Dawson Garcia back out to Cam Christie. Finds his spot. Yeah, see, you don't need that. You got a wide open three. Take the three off the catch and shoot. Pierre Brooks yeah, on the other end with the floater. He hits you with his shoulder. And that's a big trait that all of the Butler guys have got. They are physical on their drives because they will punish you with that shoulder. Dawson Garcia, Dawson the physical Garcia. drive. Now we'll see screen. the roll. He didn't roll, trying to play out of the high post. Good flare screen. Davis again to the realm, misses, gets his rebound. Jalen Thomas says, don't worry, I'll clean up the mess right there. Put the Butler way and regroup it, and that means getting people involved in this NIL world that is such a huge part of the Big East and the Big Ten. I think Ben Johnson would ask you to give oh, that no, same message got, to I'm going to. I'm going to. Ben Johnson built this program with the collective. You can't survive in this world without it in the college basketball. You can't survive garden like that either. Moss Alexander. Not off. Looked off. That could have gone either way. Butler up 47-44. Jamil Telford with the turnaround. Misses the shot. For the fourth straight year, every NCAA Women's Championship game. 15-24. Hoping Dawson doesn't pick up that fourth one, Tom. Shot, but Payne is there to clean it up. And he gets a bucket almost off the rim. Save from Butler. They're going the other way. Yeah, he got away with a travel, and it worked out because he missed the layup. And Jamil Talford. Alexander ends up with it. DJ Davis shoots that from South Bend. Misses. <laughs> and here is Cam Christie working it in, and Mike Mitchell hits the three, a great three-point shooter for the Making the entry pass, ends up with Jamil Telford again. Turn around, fade away, misses the shot. Another tough shot. Yeah, tough shot, but also good defense. Very good job by Minnesota taking away the paint, taking away any drive into the lane. And Christie comes off. 50. Some more back and forth action here. Posh Alexander rifles it across the court, gets it back into his hands, thought about the three, tries to draw the foul, hits the shot anyway. That's Butler. Parker Fox, though. He is moving. State high jump champion, athletic, even after the surgeries. And he just shows you right there. He is so much quicker when you see him in person. Conference, missed those two years, but came back to be an incredible piece for this Minnesota team. Cam Christie can't find the three from the perimeter. Dawson Garcia ends up with it. Goes big in the paint against the bucket. Nice move. The top five of the nation. Elijah Hawkins misses that bucket there. Well, he, he the, the defender is going under. They love to rescreen those unders. He never moved. Step back three was just, just a little short. Finley Bizjack goes up aggressively. Finley Bizjack makes the first of two free throws. The NCAA women's basketball just shoot. All games are also available on the ESPN app, so you can watch. Session. They should have swung it to Christie, get the ball reversed earlier inside of that last one. Finley Bizjack really been aggressive to get to the rim. Pierre Brooks, the second with the three. Nails it. Have the overhelp. Landon Moore comes off the screen with Bowden Kapke, who gets it back, thinks about it, gets it to Jamil Telford, who hits a big three from the corner. Butler takes a 60 to the big bucket. They take the six-point lead, under eight to play. Dawson Garcia trying to get some of that momentum. That goes to the rim and gets fouled. Overbraided Bowden Kapke. Talk about a scout team. You don't want to go against a scout. Mendes talent evaluator. He certainly evaluated that Cam Christie recruitment pretty well. Big steal there to Elijah Hawkins, who hits the three. That's a big bucket. Nice. Tigers and assists. Nine points, seven and a half assists a game. Really sees the floor. Pierre Brooks cuts to the rim, gets the bucket yeah. for Butler. Cannot trail with no contact. He hits the back and forth game with seven lead changes. We've seen Minnesota runs. 
We've seen Butler runs. This is the 10th tie. Dawson Garcia says, not anymore. 62 60. Kind of walk. <laughs> Might have moonwalked. Kind of, away with it. kind of moonwalked, yeah, actually, almost, exactly. right? exactly. Maybe he was too quick. Josh <laughs> Alexander goes up. Nice Gets play. the shot. The 100 assists for his career earlier this season. He's really paid off the work that he's been putting in. Jalen Thomas has also been impactful in this game on both ends of the floor. We're exchanging social media information. Getting nose to nose a little bit. Cam Christie back to Elijah Hawkins. Fires oh. Parker Fox, who flies in all the way from St. Paul, Minnesota with Beautiful. that dunk. Got behind the defense. They didn't. Yeah, they sure did. And it's coming down to the wire. This is the kind of high-low action they want to run. Here's that isolation. You got to go quick. He waited too long. Dawson Garcia, great call by Ben Johnson. Yeah, he's open right away. That's an action that they've done a good job of with Butler tonight. Got to make that pass immediately. Garcia going to work, has the four fouls. Turn around, jumper. Ball short, Terrell Payne trying there to clean it is. up. Jalen Thomas picks up the foul here. Payne misses the first one. The free throw line hits that That's one. That's a nice job. Good follow through. Trying to find the best shot for this team. He says, I'm the best shot. Rolls off the rim, Elijah Hawkins the other way. You gotta get back, don't complain. Get back and match up. Cam Christie said I was open. And the lane, get back to the perimeter. They want Fox inside because he's got the matchup with Posh Alexander. They can't find a way to get it in. Elijah Hawkins with the air ball. Block out by Thomas. They're not allowed Minnesota to get to it. Pharrell Payne touches that, but Beautiful play Dawson with two Garcia around him. Garcia. Nice feed by Hawkins. Garcia keeps both hands, hands up. Quick finish off the left hand, with the left hand off the board. That was an important sequence that ties the game. 67-67. These two teams have been battling all night. Pierre Brooks loses the ball on the shot, but it ends up back in the hands of DJ Davis and hits a big three with 146 to play. And that is a critical basket after that's Chaos a heck of a shot. His third made three of the night, Myron. He is fearless when it comes to knocking down threes. This is the kind of action you get when you decide to play a few extra games here. Dawson Garcia gets the three-point shot. This is that shot. Back the other way. 121 to play. As DJ Davis brings it up the floor to see if he's going to try to get another look that could seal this game for Butler. 108 to go, finds Jamil Telfort, kicks it back to Posh Alexander, Pierre Brooks the second, air balls the shot. You gotta drive that, you gotta, when you're challenged in the corner, you gotta drive it up, keep it alive, and Big you gotta pass. get back, you got to get back, Elijah great Fox. run by Parker Fox. Elijah Hawkins to Parker Fox, who is just finding a way to get to the rim at all costs. Now Butler will take the timeout. The pass was right there as well. DJ Davis gets the ball in his hands. Jaleel Telfort on the inbounds. Sets the screen there, gets it back. Telfort in the paint. It's a big bucket. Butler goes up 72 69, 39. Taking the inbound pass from Elijah Hawkins. Gets it. This critical possession. Which could be one of Minnesota's last. Dawson Garcia to the perimeter. Pump face goes to the rim and gets the bucket. Great play. Dawson Garcia was involved in the double screen. He slipped to the elbow, gets the pass from Hawkins. Tough finish with the left hand. They're not going to foul DJ Davis, the best free throw shooter in America. But the turnover and Elijah Hawkins gets back on the other end. Minnesota back. Cam Christie misses the shot, but Elijah Hawkins gets fouled. 5.37 seconds to play. 72-71. He what makes you, the first one. What you can't do. Minnesota last led at 54. 53, but can go up again here with the free throw. And he hits the shot. Posh Alexander and DJ Davis. DJ has the ball. Posh Alexander gets it. They call a timeout with 1.8 seconds to play down for Minnesota as well. Posh Alexander throws the ball in. Jamil Telford launches it and misses. Minnesota wins 73 72. They advance in the first round of the NIT.
going on to the second round to play the winner of Indiana State SMU in this back and forth game. Oh, what a great game, Iron. This one. You did a fantastic job.